everyone today we are going to make um something funny i i uh, made a bucket a few weeks ago and the handle was made from this twisted wire and this gave me an idea that i am going to try today for the christmas uh advent calendar um and i hope you will join me right here trying this one out i am using one of those big uh, icicles um, sticks for this one and I'm wrapping some sewing thread around this stick so I'm starting with the white then I am going to a light blue and a dark blue and I think I used a black as well So here it got a bit tricky because I actually didn't quite know what to do. So I used a piece of tape to uh, tape on the sides. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little out of frame here. And then I used my scissor to uh, cut uh, at the tape. Um, I actually, I tried to uh, pull it off the stick, but that wasn't uh, possible. So I'm cutting through the tape and the sewing thread here to get it off the stick. There must be an easier way to do this little wrap around with uh, uh, sewing thread. So if you have an idea, please tell me and I can try it out. So I found my Dremel tool and I found that I used for the handle in the bucket video. Um, I will put a link in the info box below for the bucket video. Uh, so I placed the thread double and put the two ends uh, into the uh, thing for the machine here. You can see how I thread it through this little thing and place it into the machine and uh, place it really really good in there. I place my tweezers in the loop of the wire and then between the two pieces of wire I place the sewing thread uh, like you see here and then I just turn on the Dremel and whoopty. There we go. I just need to get rid of the tape here so I have to find all the pieces of tape and rip that off and the sewing thread is really really good in there so that's perfect as I wanted it to. So let's now do this all done. First of all get rid of the tape that is sticking to everything. I cut off the top here because we don't need that part. There we go and then I am cutting these pieces of sewing thread into a smaller length and this way I am going to have a dust broom and it actually turns out really really neat. Cut it until you are really really happy with the length of these and make sure all loops are open so you don't have any loops on there. Now I just need to cut the handle into the length that I want it to and I'm making an eye here at the end with my uh, pliers uh, so that you can hang it um, on a needle or something on the wall if you want to in the dollhouse just correcting a few loose threads that is too long and not looking right and there it is the dust broom and actually it went really really good <laughs> i made quite a few of these so that's it for today thank you for watching and happy crafting